as I have worked in this space, yeah. where my career currently is, mm -hmm. one of the th biggest things that I'm thinking about in my career right now mm -hmm. is how do we make sure that Africans take control of the, f of the development space? Okay. That came from KCDF. Mm -hmm. KCDF said we give money to small organizations, mm. but we don't give them ideas. We hear ideas from them. They determine where the resources go. Yes. Mm. Now, normally we say that, mm. but when you really look at the ground, majority of times that's not the case. It's still donor-led, donor-funded, yes. donor-driven. Yes. Yeah. So what we are doing is um, painstakingly, I want to say, we're painstakingly working with these guys mm. to try and make sure that as organizations, mm. as, as Maxi, mm. if you want to do anything in a community, mm. let's get them mm. to say what, is, what the issues mm. are. Mm. So KCDF was doing that very effectively. Mm -hmm. And we've seen examples of, you know, even the Amnesty International Kenyas and mm. so on, mm. being very community-led mm. rather than them leading mm. the communities. Mm. So how do we make sure that, um, but a lot of people are afraid because of the fact that philanthropy you know, the Hewlett Foundation, yeah. these big foundations mm. and so on. Mm. People are afraid of speaking truth to them, mm. even though they are very good. But the people are afraid of saying, hey, you know, we want to change or we want to experiment mm. uh, doing things differently. Mm. Um, so we are saying maybe people should because mm. we are Africans. Mm. An American in San Francisco or in Washington, D.C. Mm. cannot come here and tell us yeah. how yeah. things are be can be done. Mm. We can probably tell them even better. Mm. Um, so that's the, I want to say, the, the big focus yeah. of my Your, career right now. Yeah. Is to try and figure out how do we Africanize development? Decolonizing it. How do we decolonize it? Yeah, yeah. How do we decolonize philanthropy? Mm. How do we make sure that there's more givers mm. within this continent? In, in the space. Yeah. And uh, one of the things you also did, it's important for us that you brought that up because there's a couple of... Um, organizations that are getting it. There's a couple of um, allies that are in the space also from, um, you mentioned Hewlett, for instance, I think yeah. part of their new the strategy uh, and a few others, you know, a few of them have... They get it. They get it and are, are beginning to say how much more can we work with players in, um, in, in, in the in the sub-Saharan, Af in the African and Asian, and mm. you know, in the what is called global South spaces yeah. to uh, shift so so that there is a lot more empowerment going to say let the people on the ground um, lead the conversation, show us where the direction is. Uh, wh whereas that shift is happening, there is also a lot of resistance, and then there is also the fact that not all is as it seems. <laughs> mm -hmm. At times it is also, um, we are, it's seemingly that way, but also there is, uh, there is also motives that you are not so sure where they are heading to. It's still, is, is power still being held by the same, uh, by the West, you know? Uh, uh, and as you s talk about that, I would like you to also mention, what are the lessons you learned during your time at the YMCA, which is, somewhere lost in all of this conversation yeah. because YMCA works across um, across the world yeah you know and there are players on the ground young people I mean when you're talking about power and um, uh, and, and, and 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 just de decentralizing power I think YMCA is a really interesting model yes uh, to look at so uh, please you know it's interesting mm is that um, if you are to look at the real reason why um, it is hard to change how especially we can decolonize f philanthropy and development you realize that a lot of the motivations are financial mm. this is what currently is happening is that a lot of money is given by Hewlett by whoever it is to say Open Institute, mm. and then the Open Institute goes and employs a few more people mm. in different places, yeah. and then delivers boreholes or whatever it is in those places, mm -hmm. and then dips. Mm. 
which is what happens with a lot of NGOs and stuff like that. Mm. Biggest challenge here is that the community there is not then left with them. They are left with a boho, but it's not theirs. Mm. So it's not uncommon, like where I live in Kilifi, mm. to hear people saying, ah, ile kuna boho lile ya so and so. That organization came, they keep put that boho. That's how the problem is, it got spoiled, and we're waiting for them to come back to fix the, mm. the boho. Mm. If the community owned it, mm. then, you know, that mm. would not happen. Mm. When the fight for HIV was being done, mm. you know, in earnest, in the last few years, mm. with mostly PEPFAR mm. funding, mm. one of the things that I think I was very successful in that, in the fight against HIV, was the fact that money went all the way down to the community level, and organizations at our level, the national, the international organizations, their job was to make sure that money and resources and ideas and trainings and whatnot went to those community to level organizations. Yeah. Mm. So that those guys are the ones who mm. the community trusts, mm. those are the ones that the community mm. knows, mm. and those are the ones that the community can support. Mm. And you see? Yeah. So it becomes a lot easier. If you want to deal with stigma, for example, you can't have an international organization deal with stigma yeah. in a community. Yeah. You have to get an mm. organization in that community to do mm. it. If you want to deal with something that I we are currently dealing with, we're worried about the fact that um, if you're, we are, for example, going to civic a civic session where elections are coming up, mm. but majority of Kenyans in outside of Nairobi and you know in many parts of the country especially the counties that are on the periphery of the country, all the way from the coast to the north to the west, there are so many young people who are entirely uneducated mm. or undereducated. Mm -hmm. These guys know how to read and write their names and they have a sense of being able to go to the shop and do one, two, three. But there's no fun they don't know anything about financial planning. Mm. They don't know which office should is responsible for what. Mm. If there is a um, was Kenya Industrial Estates um, in their town. They have never been there. They don't know what happens there. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And majority of them, as we are discovering, okay, not majority, but many of them, as we are discovering, don't have IDs, mm. in, especially in Kilifi County. Mm. I met a young man who is 21 years old. So you, you, you have moved, you have recently moved to... Yes, I recently. Because I want us to keep also into, into your story. Yes. Because you are following your story. Yes. So you recently moved to Coast. Yes. Yeah. So I moved to Coast uh -huh. at the beginning of the year. and At the beginning of 2021. 20, 20, 20, 20, yes. Uh, so you're still working with Open Institute. You, you, okay, let me go back a bit. Yeah. So, um, as I'm thinking about this Africanization story, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. Africanization... Africanization story has multiple facets. Mm -hmm. It has a question of power mm -hmm. that you must think about. Yes. Uh, it has a question of money mm -hmm. and it has a question of effectiveness. Mm -hmm. now, if you were to spend time thinking about power, mm -hmm. power is driven a lot by money. Mm -hmm. Now, where money normally goes, it stays um, in the in the international and national level organization. It doesn't go to the ground. Yeah. But we have learned from the HIV fight that mm -hmm. if you work with the community level organizations, you have a bigger change. Mm -hmm. So this is a conversation that you know I'm very passionate about at a personal level, mm -hmm. and that I'm having a lot, and I'm trying to even get the, a lot of the foundations to use mm. to think through as they're doing their strategies. Mm -hmm. Now, COVID came mm -hmm. um, at a time that we have grown into a national organization ourselves, mm -hmm. as Open Institute. Mm -hmm. We have um, we are working in all counties. Mm -hmm. um, we are working on different projects in extractives. Mm -hmm. We have projects in um, uh, disability, mm -hmm. um, and our land, uh, you know, our sort of flagship projects are the subnational transparency activities yeah the open data ones and the open data ones yeah. basically and the making sure that data is better used by citizens mm. or better produced even by citizens mm -hmm. that sort of thing mm. now as we are doing that stuff mm. covid came mm. 2020 in 2020 mm. and we all closed down our office and we said well let's go work from home mm. what's the size of your staff at this time at this point we were maybe 30 or 40. okay so we basically said uh, we are going, just going to close the office because mm. COVID is going to be here for three or four months. Mm. 
let's wait for the scientists to do something about it, then mm-hmm. we come back to mm. now. By the end of the year, mm. it was clear that these guys, this it's, COVID uh, it's not. is not just going away. Mm. So we closed down our office entirely. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we shifted our way of working to remote working 100%. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're remote working, then for me, there was no reason to then continue being in Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Because my children had been cooped up in the house mm. for too long. Mm. Their quality of life was going down. Mm. Um, my own quality of life was going down. Mm. And so the decision then was made mm. that we must... Um, I can. My family and I made the decision to move. Mm. We moved to Malindi mm. so that uh, our children at least have... They can go to the beach. Mm and frolic, mm. they can go to the shamba mm. and uh, do important things there. Mm. And at least their quality of life mm. and ours as well mm. improves. Um, improves. Mm.